Welcome to this Just for Solve report video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to demonstrate on how to customize your date time format. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. As you recall from our last video, uh, we end up in creating a style using these style properties here. If you fail to watch that uh, previous video, go check it first before proceeding here. But at this, as of this time, we're going to perform or customize this uh, order date. Now, if you watch carefully, our field here is in not presentable date time format because it's simply this was uh, okay. So this is the actual order field. And the properties for that, or the, the structure of that table is... Okay, so we're still loading. Not there. Okay, this is forma, uh, formatted into the time. But in by default, in Jasper, as you know, uh, it is presented in this manner. So how can we fix that? So to do that, let's go back to our design. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, for that to take effect, we need to pick first our the uh, order date. Now, from our order date, notice here we have this class. So this class represents the object or the object properties. So to do that, uh, we need to select the, per the specific uh, class for that uh, particular field. Okay, since we're presenting this as a date time, the only available here is are these uh, to be followed. But if you're going to check down further, we have a time and a timestamp. So for this demo, I'm going to pick the timestamp because this is a combination of date and time. So other than that, there's also a date here. But since we need the complete date and time, I'm going to pick this timestamp. Okay. Now that we select the class as timestamp, the next thing we need to do is we need to pick or select this field here. Okay, the reason that we need to do that is simply because uh, we need to customize that format. Because as of now, that, uh, that properties that we set a while ago did not take effect yet. So to, to make it more effectively, we need to apply the expression for this one. So to do that, go to the text field or select the text field here and select this expression. Expression is the area where you apply the syntax or the format of your string or any fields you have. So from here, you need to modify this one. Okay. So this is the syntax. I'm going to paste the code. Okay, so here we apply the simple date format. So we're in, I customize the format output for our date time field and the specific uh, field that we, we need for that uh, to take effect. So here, we're going to pick the order date. So once we're okay with this one, I want to hit finish. Okay, so you can see a bunch of uh, codes here. But if you're going to click preview, there you go. Oops. And there you go. Okay. So as you can see, these are now format to year, month, and date. And of course, with the time itself. So that's it. So there's a bunch of things that you can format in this one. From the website itself, we have the date time patterns. So these are the patterns that you can provide or customize with your date time format. So I'm going, uh, don't you worry, I'm going to paste the code and the date time pattern that you require. So there's a bunch of stuff here. Just log on to this just for sub community as long as you have your account. All the information that you required are needed all in here. Okay. So that's it guys. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. 
See you guys on next video series. Cheers.